Bree is doing everything except having a uh, dialogue or, or attempting to engage yeah, the or, union. Yeah. Everything, everything else she's doing everything. except attempting to engage the union. Every day is a different letter. I'm waiting to see what they're going to put out no. tomorrow. They already oh, said yeah. that, you know, mm -hmm. the strike is illegal. They're no longer paying the union. They're this. Let me see what they're going to do tomorrow. And I want. So, everything that GTU they have been doing and attempting to do uh, from the labor standpoint is illegal and illegitimate. They move beyond that. The Ministry of Education government continues to demonstrate that they are bullies, or they think they are bullies. If you kind of stand up and speak for your right in this country, then this works for us having a constitution that speaks for freedom and rights as citizens of this country. Oh, they're coming out of their Look now, look now, for your personal assistant. I want to answer her so bad, but I don't want to give her the attention that she seeks. Because when I do decide to answer her, because she's on my Facebook page, and I haven't deleted her because I don't want to delete her. When I do decide to answer her, because yeah, I know when I answer somebody, I answer them properly. Some countries, teachers aren't allowed to strike. They're considered essential workers, and their entire law is built around that. Teachers, nurses, doctors, uh, armed forces, and so on. Um, because and and in our country too the gtu has signed an agreement with the ministry of education since 1990 that they will not strike they will not sit out there is no trip that we will bend to yeah. even the one said this morning of our union jews we go out to do it even if it's by mmg we will do it yeah. life like you too you know they live in life like you too our teachers are decent people and all of our teachers are living the life. So don't feel it because you're the minister's personal personal assistant and you're that getting, you way above our teachers. Getting, I know you don't, you don't get the position because of who you did sleeping with and who you did there with. Well, you still didn't get your ticket? This flight takes off every single day. Tap that subscription button. Thanks. Pri is doing everything except having a... Uh, dialogue or, or attempting to engage yeah, the or, union yeah. every day Everything she's doing except attempting to engage the union every day is a different letter i'm waiting to see what they're going to put out tomorrow they already oh, said yeah. that you know mm -hmm. the strike is illegal they're no longer paying the union they're this let me see what they're going to do tomorrow and i want to urge those teachers go out in your numbers if you miss day one you miss day two do not miss day three go out don't let Priya bluff y'all. Do not back down. And I am I'm I'm happy that I see more and more teachers came out yep. today and more schools yep. decided mm -hmm. to shut down. They might mm -hmm. have been scared um the first day, the, the second day, day yeah. and these things, but mm -mm, they came out, they came out these rest of the days and they and you know, they well, came out and they strike. Well, as I'm trying to add you, is saying I can't add you because of technical difficulties. I don't know. Maybe Nelly, you can send me a request. Then before I go, I want to say thank you to those parents. Parents have been out there with us since yesterday. Yeah. And you know what? You know what I liked about it is that when the parents come, they don't come. Many of them don't come and join us. They stand on the side, so everybody could see these are parents on the side there. So they're not in the mix with teachers. For you to, I noticed pre manic chance personal assistant she's very pompous because she is pointing out people and she's saying oh these teachers probably teaching at sunday school but i want to thank all of those parents who are coming oh. out they're coming out to their look stand. now, look now for your personal assistant i want to answer her so bad but i don't want to give her the attention that she seek because when i do decide to answer her because she's on my Facebook page and I haven't deleted her because I don't want to delete her. When I do decide to answer her, because yeah, I know when I answer somebody, I answer them properly. When I do decide to answer her, you understand. I hope they don't come on this Facebook as a cyberbullying. Because I can read such a history when I do decide to answer her. But you continue, you go along. Well, you know, I let me see um, Priya. Let me see Priya gonna come to your rescue. I would. And I would answer her every now and again because I noticed today she's putting there, y'all think Coretta care? When the teachers, when they were finished, Coretta jumped in, she fancy Lexus and gone. So I had to tell her, she said, are you peeping me? And I got to get my guards up because you wicked and your, your boss wicked, y'all could send somebody to hurt me. 
So I got to keep my guards up all the time because I'm not looking in your direction, but you're looking in my direction to see everything that I'm doing. But you know what? Our teachers are comfortable. So even if I jump in my car and I drive away, it's mine. You want mine, my business. You want to know whether I give the teachers something or I give them something and then you can talk about it. But I just want you to know that the executive of the guy, the teachers union, they're living the life like you too, you know. They're living life like you too. Our teachers are decent people and all of our teachers are living mm -hmm. the life. So don't feel it because you're the minister's personal personal assistant and you're that getting, you way above and you're getting, I know you don't, you don't get the position because of who you did sleeping with and who you did there with. <laughs> me and ta, me want to, me share want to talk, share y'all really want to talk the story. Don't because worry, I'm not going to... Hey, well, I'm not gonna do that on this life. Cause this life is not about though, right? No. But no. I'm ready to talk this story, y'all. They really want to talk this story. Andrea, and here was getting I'm upset not. with them. Y'all just out here abusing for these teachers and these ministers, knowing very well, right? How y'all get y'all position, how y'all reach there, how who y'all open y'all foot to to reach at the position that y'all just be in. And y'all out here looking down on people and abusing people that out here striking and fighting for a better position. Y'all mm -hmm. in no position to talk about a soul because you don't get to where you get without opening your foot and sleeping with somebody. You understand? <laughs> and they really want to talk this story. Yeah? From one friend to the from one friend to the next. Scotty man is another one that is abusing for the people too. They really want to talk the dirty story. So you out here on Facebook pampersetting yourself, abusing and going on for the Ministry of Education as a personal assistant. No, it's very, very well how you get the position. You I, know I that you, you know that you, G, hustling. I want her to come to um I want her to come out to say hi to the teachers. Don't stand behind a wall hiding like a dog. Come mm -hmm. out and say hi to the and teachers. Then, and then come you in know? on Facebook and then come in on Facebook and make a post oh but look at them and look at this and look at that. Uh -huh. And then look what they did yesterday. They got DPI to come with their drone, mount it up way up in the air so that the teachers could look tiny like ants. And here they're saying, look at the crowd, look at the crowd. Mm -mm, no, look at no, the crowd. No, no, no. We MC got the people. numbers. We know teachers in school. And let me tell, let me just say this to, the, the, to um, parents that are continuing to send their kids to school. The teachers are not teaching your children. They're just sending them home. The ones that are scared to strike and that are in school, they ain't teaching nobody. They ain't doing the yard training, doing nothing in school. So if something happens to the yard training in school and y'all decide to send them to school, them teaching looking at them. So y'all gotta know what y'all doing. <laughs> they're looking for it. Y'all doing the children. God forbid. But many, I have to take my leave. You're having Odessa here. But teachers, we got your back and you got our back and the union Listen, is there to stand tall. Whether the button or not, Miss Coretta don't say if we gotta start, if we gotta, you know, let no play. If we gotta start doing bush cook on the corners and we cook a food, we do a barbecue, we strike in well, till the meat we demand. Well, we have already said that, that we are going to set up our pots along the roadside and we can cook so right here. here. We and collecting we donation, right we collecting rice, yeah. we collecting potato, we collecting chicken, Everything. soup, and we cooking on the corner. Parents and mm -hmm. private companies mm -hmm. continue to support our teachers. Go out there. We want water. Everything that y'all can donate. If y'all can reach them, message me. Miss Coretta, I can tell y'all way for drop off. We can get stuff to port. Kaituma. Yep. Listen, I want to shout out Oriella. Oriella. They were a little bit, but they came but, out. Or yellow, they came out. Yep. They mm. came out. Mm. Or yellow, mm. a big shout out to Or yellow. Y'all came out today. Y'all protested. You know, and as much as and you know, you know, as much as the, as much as they tried to paint this Kukwani, as much as they tried to paint this 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 strike as political, yeah. the public can see that it's yeah. not. Mm -hmm. This is teachers mm -hmm. simply fighting and asking for what they deserve i wish that the nurses and doctors would do the same you mm -hmm. understand yep. don't wait until they bring out 40 and 60 um 100 and 300 nurses the next couple of months to guyano and when y'all realize that y'all get a space <laughs> in the health sector then you are looking to strike now is the time to strike make your demands and have it in writing and have this it in is writing the time. Exactly. and have it in writing so so when they bring the three and the four hundred nurses and doctors from Cuba and India and Nepal and wherever they're going to draw them from and bring them, y'all job is secure. Y'all want it in writing. 
you <laughs> want your payments, you want your allowance in writing. Mm-hmm. These people spending billions to accommodate nurses and do- when teacher when nurses and doctors from overseas. They don't even pay rent for the nurses and teachers and, and doctors. Right here. here. You're not right and it here. it shows that these people have no regard to public servants. That's I don't true. know what the rest of them doing. Um, um, sit down outside. But Odessa and Melly Mel, I have to take my leave. Ooh. I just want them to know that that letter, all it is a, it has done today, is to make us even more resolute. And so we are backing down. We can stay out there and we will start working the shift. Some will come mm-hmm. in the morning and some, some will come from 12 tonight. to I'll wherever. Be I'll be a little barbecue. For y'all. Yeah, give me some chicken, give me some barbecue yeah. sauce and some rice <laughs> and stuff. And we cooking, we gonna find somebody in the yard because I sure them parents gonna be very happy to lend me the yard yep. and we do a little fire mm-hmm. pot. And we can eat and we can drink. I can get with them for donate water, drink, and wherever you are. I forget we're wrong enough right now. And we on the road. We on the road tomorrow. We on the road I'm tomorrow. We on the one road parents, Thursday. We on the road Friday. They telling me, oh, them grade six get exams to write just now. And what is striking doing? Or what is striking doing? Girl, I said, girl, you messaging the wrong person because you need to be <laughs> pre inbox. You need to be no, telling she, that. No, no, no. She need to come out on the street. That's what she need to do. That parent need to be on the street. Because I if you, you come on the, the street, wrong person, you need to be talking if you to Priya. come on the street, then Priya and everybody else will understand. Priya, Ashni, Barrett, all of them will understand. But we will stand together with our teachers, and our teachers are standing with us, and we will stand until our demands are met. We want to hear anything else about um, less notes of lessons and and less report cards and, and CDIC cards and you take away this. We want to hear that. We want to hear about the money. We Tell us about the money. Tell us about That's the money. what we want to hear. If we, got for, if, we got for, if we got for right um, scheme of work, every day we can write scheme of work every day as long as we get in the money. Exactly pay so. We. Exactly so. So take care and it's good to be here. Thank but you. I'll see you another time. Bye bye, dear. Right, yes, Odessa. Good night. I wanted to talk to you in particular because you were out there today with the teachers. You were one parent that were out there with the teachers. Whoa. You look tired. I, I just know my eye burning me terribly. I don't know it's running water or mm-hmm. anything. I know mm-hmm. what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Like I, I know if it's pre bag I talk about. I don't know it's what. That causing this start of things to be going on in my life, <laughs> so like I can't. Mm-hmm. Anyways, um, I've got a lot to say. Mm-hmm. Let me let me make that very clear. I believe that first of all, during the elections period, Melissa, mm-hmm. the the country was at in a in a time where the the mantra that people were running with is that we're fighting for democracy, and mm-hmm. this can be what democracy is breaking up unions and 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 taking away their power um cannot be democracy you understand me mm-hmm. Pray is a bully and a dictator if you ask me right and i mm-hmm. believe that as a people this is not it's not even about if you support or don't support a government because i believe governments generally regardless of who they are should be held accountable for their actions imagine cherry jagan was a union man Eh? A man who has built the PPP. I, the man must be rolling in the grave, brother man. He got to be rolling in the grave. Chedi Jagon was a union man. Was a union and man. And now today, exactly. when you have the union standing up and fighting for the rights of teachers, you now gonna come and take away the, the, the body that is supposed to be representing these people. Pre ice kiss me as fast people. And Pre-wa, I believe that as Guyanese, we sit on and take too much of shit. I don't even understand why they had space on breakdown. If we are a serious people, let we be serious. Come out on the Ross Road and take over the whole place. Let pre understand this is not a joke. This is not a pre- pre- joke and people are pre- sitting pre- on and monkey yourself in there. Pre- you really feel people making jokes. Pre- They're posting how your sh- flowers blooming. I see pre- you make the post. The flower doing better than she is better. She put the flower in charge of the Ministry of Education. Can can bloom over there because she's not blooming. Priya's not blooming in there. 
It is Priya, sad. It is sad. I pass people. Let me tell you something. All day she posting. From the time me I open it, I want to know if I dep a prayer page. Because by the time you scroll says prayer, 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 prayer. We outside, we playing volleyball, we skipping, we hopping, we dropping. Churning in school, the writing, the taking notes, teacher reading. A whole day prayer was your, what, what is the point you're proving? And you know what I look at? I don't know who's advising prayer. But I, I don't never know who's a person. Melissa, yes, you oh ever my. see, you, you could go up on me page and the comments are my comment section. All of it attacking me if you get one good comment you get enough. Them teachers there, regardless of race, class, political, um, persuasion, whatever, the all of them people got a problem with what prayer doing. And, the, and she's seen as a problem. Not only that, and the prayer answering and the, the teachers are answering her word for word. Every time prayer goes to your page and lie, the prayer co- the teachers them coming back with the fact. She talks she, I see she posts the, 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 the page slip. You understand? I should have posed the pace. Which is, that's not what teachers are being paid. Why is she lying to this public? That is not what uh, what teachers are being paid. Teachers start posting the pace. Like, stop lying. That is not what we are being paid. Some of them in pay, get paid for six and seven and two years and three years. They get five years back pay and them kind of thing. This government is not paying teachers. Why? Listen, me neighbor lie, but them cut show teachers are going to school. I see prayer say, but who ain't bullying teachers and who ain't bullying teachers? First of all, prayer is the biggest bully. Let me start there. So don't let me ask who bullying nobody and who ain't bullying. Mm-hmm. Right? Melissa, you cannot tell me that you there barely could afford to take care of you children. And pray got you for come on a jackass parade out here, sir. But say, um, the minister's doing a good job and we're getting little school things and we're very happy as teachers and I'm not gonna strike. Don't strike no bitch who asks you. Who asks you? <laughs> By the chief labor officer. So everything that GTU they have been doing and attempting to do uh, from the labor standpoint is illegal and illegitimate. They move beyond that. When uh, last week we have information that suggests that they were uh, traveling around the country, intimidating teachers. In one instance, uh, in Linden at a meeting, one of the labor leaders, executive, said to teachers that they will strip them, whatever that means, if they refuse to join uh, the strike. And so I had to uh, go Facebook post making the point. Uh, the teachers are appointed by the Teaching Service Commission and they are employees of the Ministry of Education slash uh, Regional Democratic Council. That is, uh, those two um, agencies, um, uh, that is their, the, the, the employer of, 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 of um, teachers. The teachers don't work with the GTU, uh, so they can properly um, uh, threaten teachers about basically stripping the interpreter to mean that they will ensure people can get promotion and, and all of those things and get demoted. And so that was the kind of, um, uh, that is what they were doing, uh, that the type of information. And so I sought to speak to teachers to make this point, that this strike, if it go ahead, will be illegal. And as an employee, you will suffer consequences because you will be abandoning your post. Um, And that is where, so teachers who participated in the illegal strike, they were forewarned. They were alerted by the Ministry of of Labor that, listen, this is an illegal strike. You do it um, uh, to your own detriment. You get involved in it. And so uh, that is what, uh, so they couldn't say. The teachers couldn't say they didn't know. I just want to pick up a little bit where Joe left off. Some countries, teachers aren't allowed to strike. They're considered essential workers, and their entire law is built around that. Teachers, nurses, doctors, uh, armed forces, and so on. because, and, and in our country too, the GTU has signed an agreement with the Ministry of Education since 1990 that they will not strike, they will not sit out. And the purpose of that, that we have those rules is in the world, is because 
you know, these are services, essential services that deal with vulnerable populations. In the case of a nurse it's, or a doctor, it's people who are sick. In the case of teachers, it's children who need supervision and guidance and teaching and so on. And so that's why those rules came about. And as Joe said, to have initiated this process, talks had to break down. So here's the thing about that. We came into office in, in 2020. We were given this uh, document for a multi-year agreement. First of all, there is no obligation on the part of the government to do any multi-year agreement. Barrett Jack, they were as president, and in his wisdom, with a view to serving teachers, entered into a multi-year agreement with the Ghana Teachers Union um, to serve the teachers of the country. And we have, that has been renewed and renewed over and over again. Um, and new things added and, and so on. But what, what we did here, when they gave us that, it had four to one demands. Four to one demands that the GTU said would be, um, the, if you grant us these things, teachers' lives will be better. So that's what they said in writing, I have it here. If you give us these four to one things, teachers' lives will be better. We have met 25 of those demands. Um, and 25 of their demands, and we have granted and done 28 other things, taken 28 other actions, um, some personal, some professional, and I'll, I could go through those if you want, that um, are now inuring to the benefit of teachers. The ones that we didn't do, of the ones that we didn't do, two are for GTU executives. They want duty freeze for themselves, not the teachers, for themselves, and two are unlawful and we're talking about the rest. Talking is where we have been, and that's how we reached the 25 in the first place. Richest country in the world per annum, and so much deliberations, so many people in the street, so much nice confusion, just for certain people benefit from the wealth of the nation, just for certain people to be able to access the wealth that they deserve because of the work that they do because of the effort and the discipline that they exert every day because of the caring within them everyone knows that it's a special type of person it takes to be a good teacher they don't come easy they don't come one in a dozen they don't come just like that you can find them way way and far you can find good teachers and guyana have a lot of them so why can't they be compensated? Don't they deserve to live better? Don't they deserve to live? Now you just heard from you just heard from Joseph, Melimel, Mel, and Priya. And we got somewhat of a rounded perspective of what's going on. A lot of beating around the bush, a lot of people avoiding people a lot of statements, a lot of formalities, and a lot of trying to wiggle out of the situation where you have to actually pay people. How are you going to try to go around the person who's teaching you the academics? That makes sense? How are you going to try to rob a person who's teaching you maths? That may make no sense. The persons that are involved in educating the country the persons that are involved in making sure that the most important resource in the country, which is the human resource, reaches its greatest potential, which is to be educated because an educated labor force is a hundred times more better than an uneducated one. And last I checked, people is work better when they get the money they want and they get paid and they're comfortable. People can't walk if they're uncomfortable. And if you're playing games with them, oh, they could take the little crumbs off the top or the change from this one or that one. And then a whole lot of pompousness going on in and out of the public eye. It's almost like if it's meant to create this type of situation and throw fuels on the flame. And we got to ask ourselves, just as regular just as regular thinking Guyanese, we have to really analyze this and say, but look at the children. They're the ones that are suffering the most from this. After COVID and all the stuff that they just go on, missing how many weeks and months of 
really being able to go to school and learn in a, in a real way tend to have to deal with this as well and all the other frustrations that, that was coming before and that going to come after this it shouldn't be right it shouldn't be accepted it shouldn't be a part of our experience not after the success that we find ourselves uh, having right now financially why the most important people in getting what they deserve and we got to ask ourselves if we're really looking at it from a real place. Because if we're looking, for, looking at it from a real place on either side, we're going to try to come to a quick solution to this. Not people planning, because in the presentation, to be honest with you, I ask myself as well, what is how the minister, the Honorable Minister McDonald know that they're really going to protest for all these other days? Shouldn't it be that, okay, if they come to a compromise right now in the night over the deliberations, tomorrow there is no strike. Because last I checked, teachers are essential workers, right? They're essential. So how come we are we are already planning a strike for the rest of the week? That should be something that, you know, should be ended abruptly when the compromise is made. But it seems like if they already realize that they're dealing with a set of people in government that might not compromise with them so we get to watch this go on for another couple of days where persons are out in the street when they could be in the classrooms educating the next generation to empower one of the richest countries in the world it's almost as as if we're being rendered defenseless but in advance so that you're occasionally ill-equipped to handle the situations that's coming up in the future, which you're going to have to deal with because when you got a lot of money, to him who much is given, much is required. You have to be wise, and to be wise, you need knowledge. And last I checked, schools are fountains of knowledge. So every Guyanese should be right now pressuring whichever party you're a part of because last I see, on the protests, it ain't got nothing to do with race. Every single race is out there. Race and creed is out there. Men, women, everybody's out there. And everybody's saying the same thing. The one better. So it's either all of them wrong or something ain't right. We're going to hear from Mark Light and the Honorable Minister Bess. We're going to let them give us some more insight. Because Minister Bess is actually out in the street protesting. We're going to get some insights from her in the street and we're going to hear directly from Mark about the letter that was sent to his office and how he is going to deal with this strike situation moving forward. Let's get right into that right now. And let's have a conversation about this in the comment section. Let me hear the perspectives of the persons who's been tuning into the live, the persons who've been watching the video. What do you guys think about this? Let's have a conversation about these topics that is very relevant right now in Guyana about the teachers striking. Let's talk about this in the comment section and let's see if we could wrap our minds around what we just heard in this video. So, in its recent missing, the beautiful permanent secretary based on pictures and I hope this is not her own thinking because I Lord she's intelligent, she's smart, she is a good girl. So I hope that this is an instruction she received. And because of her operating in the environment of governance, she has to act based on what her principles tell her. So the letter says that the Ministry of Education will no longer accommodate or if that's the word I'm trying to paraphrase will no longer authorize or do the deductions and by extension the government will not do the deductions for GTU and so GTU must find an alternative ways to receive union dues from its members we are already on the way deciding on how that will be done this God don't sleep. I serve for 30 odd years a God who never failed me yet. Never. 
And I know many people in this government profess to be either Christians, Hindu, Muslims. And here is where you have to let your voice be heard. Irrespective of your religious persuasion, there are some ethical things that we live by. Cutting across all religions, there are some things that are ethical and they permeate across different religious beliefs. Integrity, truthfulness, and a, an ability to serve without discrimination. So here the union is being discriminated against because we have taken a stand for our teachers to say that we want government to negotiate with us on behalf of our members who elected us through a legitimate union election. You check our records. The union had an election in 2022 for the present office bearers, inclusive of those who are politically persuaded or not. And those individuals are authorized to act on behalf of the members. So this is the latest attempt at union busting, we call it, in trade unionism. And government will take a beating for this because no civic-minded person, whether you are living here locally or abroad, we've had, we've had protests, we've had um, strikes all across, even in the developed world. When people are dissatisfied about something, they make it known. And if there is no way of treating with it, the matters are quickly resolved. When there is strike in the US by the North American Teachers Union, or there is strike in other countries like there was in Antigua recently, in a matter of a day, the government engaged, yes, the government engaged the union and their matter was resolved. But this government wants to show who is boss. And so they will flex all their muscles. But the longest rope has an end. And it brings me to the point where I want to say that we are out here. The last government pushed the union to a place where we had a strike. Because based on the count or the recount or whatever it was, based on on, on, on the, uh, the declared result the winning party won by about 5,000 votes the party won by about 5,000 votes well we out here and judging from yesterday's statistics we, are, we, we checked we checked Based on the numbers coming out of the schools, 23 branches we checked of the 40 branches. And those were the information available to us through our data gathering process. Today we're going to do a more expansive one. There were 6,800 and something teachers. I think it's 8 or 15 teachers. The, 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 the GTU um, statement has the correct number. I don't have it here because I'm driving. 6,815, I believe, teachers were expected to be at work. Of that amount, 3,914 were not at work. Accounting for 58%. Accounting for 58% of the teachers withholding their services. Whether they were out on the picketing line or the protest line or they were just happy to remain at home and show solidarity to the union. So, we just got less than 7,000 teachers to respond or the numbers of 7,000 teachers on day one that we gather. 58% of those teachers came out and support the union either by remaining at home or they joined the protest line. 
And yet for all, the release coming out of the Ministry of Education, you check their page, and this is not making up a story, you check the Ministry of Education's page, and they are saying most teachers came out. I don't know what most mean. It is, the Ministry of Education must operate with data. You can't publish three classes and say the majority of the teachers came out. And some of those schools that were published, those pictures were taken many moons ago. Many moons ago. So, the reality is, we are up against an administration that is bent on subjugating the working class people. And like I said, today, GTU is standing its ground, being the strongest and the boldest union in this country to stand against either government. We stood against the Granger government and we are standing against the Ali's government because when something is not right, we give time for it to be fixed. And if it cannot be fixed and you refuse to fix it, we will take our stand and we are prepared to go all the way. You could call it how illegal you want. You could do all the threats that you want. The union will stand resolute. Day two, we outside. And from the reports coming in, more teachers have joined. The crowd has swollen. So let me see the ministry saying most teachers went to work. A lot of teachers, like I said yesterday, the way teachers operate, many of them are scared. And so the deaf people will see if the colleagues come out, what is going to be the reaction. And based on what they see, they build courage. The main, the main fact that governments must worry about is that teachers are unhappy with the salary. And government, you are there to fix it. You are there to engage the union. We don't want to have any discussion on the jurists. We don't want that we said we are prepared to talk. We are prepared to talk. We made that very clear. Where all the protest action took place yesterday, no government official, no education ministry official came out and spoke to the teachers. Well, I don't know how more barbaric we can be. Well, you know what happened in the past and was accepted will not be accepted. Today we hope to gather about 13,000 for the number C. And we will publish because there's about just over 13,000 teachers in the teaching fraternity. We know of that set. The teachers attending CPC were threatened that they must report for duty or they're going to knock them off. Your thoughts about this? Well, my thoughts about this entire process, the Ministry of Education I'm 
because of my back. And I spoke about it and came to fall on deaf ears. And just like me, I have colleagues at other schools who are purchasing their own chairs to sit on. And this is so disrespectful. Why is it that you cannot take care of the needs of the teachers who are working in the school to teach and educate some of children? It's a lot of sacrifice. I heard them attacking me, but I'm waiting patiently on them. All my years in teaching, I've never had any bad record. I've always stand up for my right. I have a right to. If the teachers are comfortable, the students will even be more comfortable. We go above and beyond just the classroom to ensure that our students are properly cared for and they're taken care of. We have many times here now. You have to put your hands in pocket to assess students. Where these ministry officials be? They're telling that they implement programs. You talk about a feeding program that they talk about providing to the children. Many times teachers have to step in because some of the things they bring in make no sense, you know. And so when we speak, I look at the number of things that people are saying. This is not about the students. This is about the teachers. Our rights, we have rights. Just like our students, we have rights. And we have a right to speak up. This government needs to engage our union. Sending a letter to say that they don't recognize our union goes to show undemocratic. This PPPC government is their wicked. And people need to come up and speak out against it because they're talking about all these things they care. And you see that these said government officials put our children in harm, that they continue to have dirty and stinking factors around our children. They're not doing anything about that. So fix it right. I am calling on the government this morning to ensure that they engage our union and ensure that we are properly compensated. We're not asking for anything that we don't deserve. We are asking to be comfortable. And I will continue to stand with my colleagues and call for us to be compensated. Fairly, I stand with my union. We will continue to stand with our union. They would have done it before when they stopped taking out union drugs. Jews and did not kill the union. And if you go on that step again, it goes to show your mind bad, the stink and dirty, and you gotta get it right. We will stand with our union. GTU will forever be around them, no matter what it is. But when Gao strike, they get everything. Yes. And, they don't, and the Jews are not taken out. They're totally disrespectful and calling on parents and citizens of this nation. Come out and join the strike, shut down all the schools, let them engage. They're disrespectful, totally disrespectful to people. Look at the, the sacrifice we make every day for our students. You think it's something that people want to see that their students are not successful? All this success they like to talk about and celebrate all the grace acts. The Honorable Minister, how much you really put into it? Many times it's teachers going an extra mile to ensure that those students are successful. And we don't need to get the acknowledgement of it. We don't get the acknowledgement of it. So we write. And tomorrow we will be back on it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is no trip that we will bend to. Right. Even the one played this morning of our Union Jews. We know how to do it. Even if it's by MMG, we will do it. Yes. We will uphold our union. Yes. And we will stand by our union. Yes. We are prepared, as I said before, we are prepared to go to the table. Mm -hmm. We are prepared. But unless you call us, we will not go. And we will be in contact with our membership this time. There is no bending. There is no pullback. There is no pullback. You didn't hear that? Right. So therefore, therefore, no threat will back us. The ones in the school will eventually join us. And we are claiming all. Just like how we have those in Region 2, which was a surprise to many. Region 6, Region 5, and Region 9 and Region 8, Region 7. There's no judge no. But the momentum has been building up. Yes. We are still going to stand for collective bargaining. Regardless, we will take all the non-salary. All we will take. But we will stand for our salary issues. Yes. So those parties cannot be paid for just now until they fix it. That marks in massive. All right? I don't know how to make that make sense, but I know the university making sense.
All right? So we are going to hold. We are going to continue tomorrow under the same pressure. The pressure will increase. Mm -hmm. Do not fall for the trips. Mm -hmm. Every day you will be seeing a different central officer visiting as we go around the country. All right? On long life, the Guiana Teachers Union. Verb, well-crafted sea moss gummies, nutritious, delicious superfoods. What's your favorite flavor? <laughs>